In this video, I'd like to show how you can use the linear system editor of 20SIM to map a mesh frequency measurement of a system to a linear system. So we start with some frequency measurements, and in this case, it's just a table of frequency gain and phase data, uh, depth separated, and uh, just in plain ASCII form. The linear system editor has a uh, debug plot which is typically used and this one this is an example system that shows you a eigen frequency at one radius a second. The eigen frequency view is best used for this and um, if we're going to import some frequency measurements we will start with a new system. To import the data you select file import gain phase response. Now the settings that you're going to use are the same as in the current voter plot settings. So in this case frequency is in radians a second. We have gain not in dB and a phase in degrees. We specify the measurement file and it is shown inside the boat plot together with a linear system. Our linear system is in this case just one straight transfer. But what we can do is change the linear system to all these measurements. As you can see, you have a decay here at um, around one radius a second, so we will add a lag there. You open the frequency editor and you press the add button. If we apply this, you can see that the, the linear system that we're mapping towards this frequency measurement is changed. I can change the frequency of uh, the lag and you see that it shifts to the right. In the measurement, there is also an anti-resonance frequency and a resonance frequency. So let's add that as well. The anti-frequency, anti-resonance frequency will be around something like 80 hertz, 80 radius a second. And we must specify the type. In this case, it's an anti-resonance. As you can see, the damping is not enough, so it should be a, a bit more steep. So you can shift it to the right a bit and change the damping. Okay. It can be moved to the right a bit more. So what we need, need to do next is to add resonance frequency as well. So that'll be around 90 hertz, 95 hertz. It's over there. The resonance has too much damping, so if we reduce the damping, you will see a larger oscillation occurring. And now we already have a very nice mapping of our measurement data with a linear system that corresponds with this measurement data. So this is our uh, map linear system, and if I really look at, at the face, you see that also the face maps pretty well. It is difficult to get a, a proper phase data from frequency measurements. Okay. So now what you can do with the linear system is you can you can copy it and paste it in 20 sim or in the controller design editor or of course you can save it to file as well and use it later on. And this ends the demonstration.